All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, Dash the and Fun Out. <laughs> Back at it with another Throwback Tunes on, you guessed it, another Thursday. And we are reviewing Mac 10 by Mac 10. So this is actually his debut album. This joint came out June the 20th, 1995 under Priority Records. And it was recorded from 1994 to 1995. And production was done by 88X Unit, Crazy Tones, not Tunes, or Tones actually, Dr. Jam, Ice Q obviously, Mac 10 obviously, and Madness For Real. So there's that. Now, the album did make the charts. It was... 33rd on the Billboard 200. It was second on the top RB slash hip hop albums charts. And it was 12th on the, this is new, the US Top Heat Seekers. So, what that is is the Top Heat Seekers are breaking and entering music charts issued weekly by Billboard magazine. The Heat Seekers albums and the Heat Seekers songs charts were introduced by Billboard 1991 with the purpose of highlighting the sales by new and developing musical recording artists. Artist is right. So that's pretty cool. And the album was certified gold as well. So, you know, it got some, it's one of his successful uh, albums in terms of certification. It's one of his three. In terms of his charts, I mean, it's it's debatable. It's really tough to say, I'll be honest. It's really tough to say. However, by the end of the year, 1995, it was 46 on the U.S. Top R&B slash Hip Hop Albums charts. So there's that as well. And the album sold around 500,000 copies. Just want to put that out there. Now, there are 14 tracks. And right off the bat, I can only give you guys a top three, not a top five. And out of these 14 tracks, I believe three of them are skits. So there's like 11 tracks that are actual songs here. So there you go with that. So let's get on with the track. The first track is called Mickey D's Lick, in parentheses intro. So obviously that's the first skit of the entire album. Next up is Foe Live, F-O-E that is, featuring Ice Cube, which is actually the first singer off this album. I have to say, this is probably the song that put him on the map, that is. And we're gonna get more of that later. Next up is, and I mentioned it features Ice Cube, so there's that. Next up is Wanted Dead, followed by On Them Things, T H A N G S, featuring the Mary Jane Girls, which is actually the second single of this album. Track number five is another skit called Pigeon Coop, followed by Chicken Hawk. Track number seven is called Here Comes the G, followed by, t uh, if you wanna call it the third single, then yeah, we can call it that. West Side Slaughterhouse, yeah, you know what, I think I will call it the third single, I'll explain why in a second. This track features Ice Cube and WC, which I believe stands for West on them. Now, that is a rapper called WC. I was thinking of West Side Connections, but no, that is an actual rapper by the name of WC. Track number nine is another skit called Niggas Dog Scrapping, followed by Armed and Dangerous. Then we got track number 11, H O E K, which is not Brebe, but it's like spelled out like that, featuring KD. Then we got 10 million rays. Next up is Mosey Rosie. And the last track off this album is Mac 10's The Name. So there's not really a lot of info on the singles. The first single, which is Full Life, came out May 26, 1995. And it did make the charts. It was 71st on the Billboard Hot 100. It was 42nd on the Hot RB slash Hip Hop Songs charts. It was 54th on the RB slash Hip Hop Airplay charts. It's been a minute since I've seen that. And it was 42nd on the U.S. Dance Club's songs charts. I'm, well, I mean, I guess. That, that's not the type of dance I was thinking of, but okay, we can roll with that. And yes, this does indeed have a music video, which is kind of funny. The music video is kind of funny, to be honest. Next up is On Them Things featuring the Mary Jane Girls. This joint came out July 22nd, 1995. And it was 74th on the Hot RB slash Hip Hop Songs charts. And the last single of this album is called The West, Sli uh, West Side Slaughterhouse. There's no release date in terms of when this joint dropped, but, and it did not make the charts as well. However, it does have a music video. So actually all three of these singles have music videos. So there you go with that. Now, let me get on with my favorite tracks off this album from us to first. On The Dangerous is the worst track off this album. It is, it's mostly by comparison. The tempo is borderline cool slash really cool. The melody slash sample is cool. The bass is cool. The kick is cool. The stand is cool. Overall, this track is pretty cool. It, well, just cool, rather. 
Now, in terms of the sample, the sample is kind of funny. I, I kind of chuckled when I heard the sample. So, Arm and Dangerous contains samples from Devotion, which was written by Maurice Wright and Philip Bailey and performed by Earth, Wind and & Fire and Flashlight, written by George Clooney, William Collins, and Bernie Worrell and performed by Palamet. So, those songs should have sound familiar. If you were to hear this track oh, right off the bat, you, you would have recognized one of those singles. It was actually pretty funny to me. Next up is Chicken Heart. The tempo is cool. The melody is borderline cool. Really cool. The bass is really cool. The kick is cool. Same with the snare overall. The track is cool. Then we got On Them Things. The tempo is cool. The melody slash sample is cool. The bass is cool slash really cool. The kick is cool. The snare is cool. Really cool. Overall, the tempo here is cool. So On Them Things, yeah, 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 it's the Mary Jane sample, which was performed by Rick James, obviously. So, yeah, there you go with that. Next up is the West Side Slaughterhouse. The tempo is borderline cool, really cool. The melody is cool, it needs a bass though. The kick is cool, the snare is borderline cool, really cool, overall the track is cool. Then we got Mac 10's The Name. Your tempo is cool, the melody is cool, same with the bass. The kick is borderline cool, really cool. The snare is really cool though, overall the track is cool. Then we got Mosey Rosey. The tempo is cool, the melody slash tempo is cool, really cool. The bass is cool, the kick is cool slash really cool. The snare is really cool. Overall, the track is cool as it starts at the 22 second mark. And at, ironically enough, this is another track that's simple, uh, that contains an interpolation, rather, of Devotion, which was obviously performed by Earth, Wind, and Fire. We mentioned that already. So another song that kind of contains the same, uses the same sample. So that's pretty interesting, if you ask me. Moving on. Here comes the G. Tempo is cool. The melody slash sample is really cool. The bass slash sample is borderline cool, really cool. The kick is the same, cool slash really cool. Same with the snare. I feel like they should use a different snare here because it got it, it's somewhat of a smooth track, but that snare does not fit the smoothness of this track, in my opinion. Despite that, this track is borderline cool, really cool. So here comes the G contains sample from Remind Me, which was performed by Patrice Russian. So I heard that, so I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I like that. Then we got H O E K. The tempo is cool. Melody is really cool. Stay with the bass and the kick. The snare is cool. Overall, the track is really cool. Now, for the top three tracks off this album. The best track off this album is Run It Dead. So, the tempo is really cool. Same with the melody. The bass is cool. The kick is borderline cool. Really cool. Same with the snare. Overall, this track is really cool. Next track. Next best track off this album. And I, I really want this to be number one. But, yeah, I had to drop it at number two. And that is Bo Live. A forgotten classic right here. The tempo is borderline cool, really cool. The melody is really cool. The bass is borderline cool, really cool. Same with the kick and the snare. Overall, the track is really cool. And the number one track off this album is 10 Million Rays. The tempo is really cool. The melody is borderline cool, really cool. The bass and the kick, they're both really cool. The snare is borderline cool, really cool. Overall, this track is really cool. 10 Million Rays is the best track off this album. Followed by Faux Live. And you gotta say it like that too. And Run It Dead. So there you go with that. Now let me give you guys some professional ratings. All music gave it three out of five stars and rap reviews gave it a 7.5 out of 10. So what do I think about this album? I feel like he should have got more songs on this track, especially since three of these tracks were skits. So I feel like he should have got probably like four more tracks, actual songs rather on the album in my opinion. So there's that. But going by what we heard, I'm gonna give this album a 3.5 out of 5. I I recommend you stream it. I'll be honest, I recommend you stream it. Again, even though Faux Live, that's a forgotten classic, so it's nice to listen to once in a while, but there's nothing here that screams like, yo, this is dope. So, 3.5 out of 5, I recommend you stream it. You know, you should at least listen to that Faux Life and that 10 Minion Rays. Those two tracks are really cool, so there's that. And I'm gonna call it a wrap. And with all that said, Y'all know who this is. This is boy New Jack Aspie, aka the new Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.